can't feel my legs. Hmm. Oh, hello from the border wall between the US and Mexico. That brown wall behind me, well, that's the wall just over the other side of there is San Diego, California, but we here in Tijuana in Mexico. You see that bridge across there? That's called the CBX. And that allows people from San Diego to walk across the border and take a domestic flight within Mexico um, on one of the many low cost airlines and get to anywhere they like really within Mexico. Domestic flights within Mexico are really, really cheap. And one of the airlines that operate those cheap flights is an airline called Volaris and that's the airline we're flying on today. Tijuana Airport sees service from all of the main Mexican airlines from low-cost airlines such as Volaris and Viva Aerobus up to full-service airlines like Aeromexico. It offers flights the entire length of Mexico from right here on the border. Got me burger, all very good. And um, that was sort of another reason actually going through security I was just thinking of how easy it was getting through security here. Um, at Tijuana Airport compared to how it can be sometimes in the States with TSA and everything, shoes off, electronics out, everything, all the rest of it. It's a lot more laid back here at Tijuana and I can see why people living in San Diego might want to pop over here to the border through the CBX and stop on a domestic flight here. It's a lot easier flying from Tijuana than it is from um, airports over in the States. My first flight today was on this Airbus A320neo which offers a knee crippling 186 seats. Along with Frontier and EasyJet, Volaris operate this aircraft in its densest configuration. I think they are boarding by like windows and aisles and middles and then toilets and then bathrooms and kitchens. I don't know what they're doing. But I know I'm zone 3 and they've told me to wait here so... Yeah, Volaris boarding procedure was, let's just say, interesting. Right, we're due to be departing now in 10 minutes from now. They haven't even started boarding yet. Um, <laughs> this is going to be fun, isn't it? And I've, got, I've only got a, quite a tight connection on in Puerto Vallarta on the way down to Mexico City. So who knows if we're going to make that flight at the moment. Well, we've got 10 minutes to board 186 passengers. Call me a cynic, but I don't exactly think that's going to be happening. Finally, they started boarding using their new COVID procedures, which, to be honest, didn't seem to make much sense. See, what I don't get is, is if this is for social distancing, they've literally, I'm in the last row in the window, so surely that means that I've got to walk past everybody to get on. It doesn't seem to make much sense, but hey, we'll see. Volaris A320neo offers just 28 inches of seat pitch, which makes it pretty tight, especially on a busy flight like this. So as predicted, they boarded the um, aisles first, then the middles and the windows last. Makes complete enough to sense to board the windows last, doesn't it? It's, um, that's not going to inconvenience anybody, but never mind, I'm on board. And look at this legroom, isn't it amazing? This is the world's most densely packed Airbus A320. They've got 186 seats on an A320neo, which is more than almost any other airline in the world. Um, and yeah, I've only got six hours on these, so lock on. Fairly soon we were all wedged in place and ready to start our way on the DVT Express down to Puerto Vallarta. Our first leg today then took us down the coast of Mexico to Puerto Vallarta. Flight time today was 2 hours and 10 minutes, cruising at 39,000 feet. So there we go, then everyone from Tijuana heading down to Puerto Vallarta on the... I think it's on the coast of Mexico actually. <sighs> I 
like you know that feeling that you get when you put your hand under the seat and you feel someone's leftover chewing gum yeah that's my feeling right now Before long the buy on board service started. The interestingly titled Enter Noobs magazine is actually the onboard menu. Um, it translates to Between Clouds or so I found out later. Okay, so the trolley's been round and I've got my waters. Interestingly, they operate on like a restaurant type system where you just, they add stuff to your bill as you go through the flight and they come around and you pay at the end. It's pretty cool. Not known any other airline do that. I think it's quite an interesting way of working it really. Um, mental note, accidentally letting one out on an A320neo, um, it's pretty loud and the aircraft's pretty quiet. And, and people look. Okay, so sit rep for now an hour into the flight and I can't feel my legs. Hmm. It's just so uh, really uncomfortable. We do have about an hour left down to Porto Valletta on the coast. Um, scenery is good out the window, but it's just so tight on this A320neo and I really do hope that the next plane that we get with Polaris is a little bit more spacious than this. We'll see. And yeah, that last hour really did drag. Fortunately, it was topped off with this absolutely stunning approach into Puerto Vallarta. This embarking was done by row with the flight attendant stopping at each row to let people out. Now this did actually make sense compared to their rather chaotic boarding process. Uh, freedom will be temporarily for about an hour until we get back on one of those again. Okay, so it's a connecting flight, but there's no connections here at Porto Vallarta, so I have to go all the way out and all the way back in again. Yay! Okay then, we're back in the check-in hall. Oh, great. Like I need to hot foot it through security then to get back airside again. Great. Once I got upstairs, this beautiful Instagram-worthy view was just begging for a photo. Right then, through to the gate, at least I get to stretch my legs here. I think I need it after that. Hey. It's a bit deserted here at Porto Vallarta. Tijuana, please board immediately at gate four. Right, made it to the gate, even with a bit of time to spare as well, so it's quite funny. We're actually going off the gate next to the one where we've just arrived to. 
And actually, we could probably have gotten back to Tijuana because that's my plane that's just come in from uh, Tijuana. I don't really can see it there. Um, he's not even left yet. They're just doing the final call now. And then here is my plane up to uh, Mexico City. I'm heading up to Mexico City on Julian. So, let's go and have a ride on Julian up to Mexico City. It was time to see whether boarding here would be just as chaotic as it was up in Tijuana. with Valoris on the DBT Express over to Mexico City. Okay, so this seems to be a bit of an older Airbus A320. The seats are certainly a lot battered, but I do seem to have slightly more leg room than I did on the um, A320 Neo. I think, if I remember right, there's an extra two rows on the A320 Neo compared to this one, so um, we should have a little bit more leg room. It does feel a little bit more spacious, even if the seats are sort of a bit creaky and old, but never mind. It's only an hour on this one, as well, I think, up to Mexico City. Looking forward to it, should be a good flight. Looking forward to getting back to my hotel room um, for certain. Oh, boarding's complete. We seem to have quite an empty flight tonight, and I've got a route to myself. Even better, I can stretch out a bit. Yeah. There's barely anybody on the plane. Should be a nice quiet flight over then. Leg two tonight then took us across to Guadalajara and down to Mexico City. Flight time on this leg was one hour and three minutes, cruising at 33,000 feet. So then last flight of the day over to Mexico City, um, around about an hour's flight time from Puerto Vallarta over to Mexico City. We've about half an hour left now. We've just passed Guadalajara down on the left, cruising at 35,000 feet and it's been Quite a nice little chip actually. I know that um, the, the leg room on the A320 Neo was just absolutely shocking and the whole chaos at Tijuana was just crazy as well. But you know what, Valaris, as much as they've got their quirks, I don't think they're actually too bad. Um, the cabin crew all seem really friendly. That's the thing I have taken away from this trip is that the cabin crew have just been really, really nice, um, friendly throughout, uh, which has been brilliant. So yeah, about half an hour now until we land down on the ground into Mexico. And looking forward to getting some rest, I have to say. We got an absolutely stunning view of Guadalajara lit up at night. The only thing more stunning was the approach and landing into Mexico City, which at night time is just an absolutely incredible experience. I recommend everyone try it at least once. Flight today cost me 110 pounds or about 150 US dollars. This works out to seven pence per mile. Gracias. So there we go, made it back to Mexico City.
As always, a special mention to my Patreons. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, weekly Zoom call, and exclusive supporters-only merch. Oh. Right. Back in my room. What an exhausting day that was, and um, what an exhausting flight that was with um, um, Valaris. I forgot what they were called. I was going to call them Interjet then, um, but <laughs> Interjet don't exist anymore. Um, what is this? Montijo beer. My little freebie that I get um, with being a gold member or something here at Hilton. But I'm not complaining. I get free beer every night. Let me know what you thought to Valaris down in the comments below, and also your favourite Mexican beer. Montejo, I haven't tried that one yet, but I will do, and I'll let you know what it's like. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments. In the meantime, as always, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.